We are very excited about our next guest, New York Times bestselling author. It's Louise Petty. She's best known for her series of mystery novels that follow Chief Inspector Armand Gamache as he investigates murders in a fictional small town. That small town called, you know it if you read the books, Three Pines. Oh and there is a prime video series on her work also called Three Pines, and it will premiere on Friday. Here's a preview. Tomorrow, we need to get statements from everybody who was at the curling match. And friends and family? True. And also, we have to track down that photographer, Saul Petrov. Any update on the pathology report? I'll be ready first thing in the morning. Good. Oh, and a situation room. Agent Nicole, perhaps you can help, seeing as you're local? Yeah, sure thing. Good. And uh, now, what do we do? Now? Well, no murder was ever solved on an empty stomach. In Penny's new book, A World of Curiosities, Inspector Gamash investigates mysterious objects found in a hidden room, all while being confronted with old memories as characters reemerge from his past. And Louise Penny joins us now. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me, Baz. Your 18th I know. novel in wow. this series. I just can't. I'm a recidivist. Wow. <laughs> uh, coming up on a 20-year anniversary, uh, and you are always asked where you're... a party? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that where this is heading? Yes. Yeah, yeah. we have a cake coming out here. Come right back here. Uh, you're always asked where your ideas come from, and in the acknowledgement section, you talk about it, and you have some theories, but ultimately you say it comes down to a little bit of magic. Can you talk yeah. a little bit about that magic? Well, I, it, it's like a pointless painting for me. It's just... An idea here, a thought here. I read a lot of poetry, so it's a couplet there, a conversation. And then eventually it all comes together. Mm. Uh, you know, hope it comes together. Um, although my first drafts are... They don't resemble... Well, they're not what it, good. They're not... Why do you say that? Because <laughs> in this book in particular, you have a lot of characters, you have a lot of storylines, you tie it all together very nicely. Well, but I, together, yeah. Yeah, you did. I, but you. I wonder, Thank what you. did your first drafts look like on this book? I can't imagine. Well, it's more like what they smell like. What do you mean? <laughs> they really smell like something soft and smelly. It's oh, really wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> but, so that's you know why? Thing. I'll tell you why. When I finished the, the first book and then had to write the second book, and I was terrified, and I went to a therapist, and the therapist said something that changed my life, oh. not just as a writer, but as a human being. She said, the wrong person is writing the book. You, your critic is writing the book. Mm. You need to thank the critic, you need to bless the critic, you need to show the critic the door. And you need to write with joy, with awareness of how lucky you are, with gratitude. You don't have to get it right. Ah. Just throw everything at it. Be brave. That had to be freeing. To be it was freeing because- You don't have to get it right. Yeah, and be brave, that. be you don't brave. don't get it right. At, on my front, by my front door now, it used to be right where I write, I have the last words of Seamus Heaney, who said to his wife on his deathbed, noli to marry, which means be not afraid. So when I write- that, Noli to marry? Noli to marry, noli to be, marry. Not be not afraid. And when I write, I keep thinking that, just be brave, be brave. But as a result, the first drafts have all sorts of Crap. So well, then the critic comes draft. in, and, yeah. and, and that's when the changes. In the happen. second and third yeah. and fourth drafts, yes, I simplify, simplify, simplify. Well, it opens with a murder, and you know it's a woman, and her two young children are implicated. We won't say how. how. And then later on, we revisit their lives following the death of murder of their mother. Right. And I, I wonder how you, you say that this story is ultimately about forgiveness. Yeah, it's about... I'm trying to figure out. A lot of people needed to be forgiven in the story. <laughs> Lots of people. Thank God, really, yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, what a tyranny it is to carry those resentments around with us all our lives. And then I, mean, I talk about the fact, and Gamash talks about the fact, which happens to come from me, um, that these crimes don't happen on the spur of the moment. They happen because something has... Some hook, some barb has gotten stuck there. A resentment that becomes fetid and then explodes out. Yeah. Um, but for, if you're able to forgive, you can let it go. Not necessarily for the person you're going to forgive, yeah. but for yourself. You yeah. have to, it's freeing. What is it like to see this come to life in a TV show? Oh, there's a question. Ah. <laughs> you know, John Le Carré once famously said that watching his book be turned into a film was a lot like watching an oxen turned into bullion. Oh. Because <laughs> we're reading that you're not happy with all of it. Oh, you How know it's... what? I, I struggled. I cried. I, there were business meetings where I wept. I was really? so angry. I was so upset by what 
was happening. Then it became clear that what happens in films and TV, I didn't realize this and I should have, it was my fault, is also a process. Ah, so the yeah. first drafts aren't going to be the last drafts. Yeah. Um, huh. So they got, I would say for me, 80% of it right, and that is That's good. astonishing. Right. I, I'll the, take 80%. Especially, let's talk about Inspector Gamash, because you said you based him on a man you wanted to marry. And I did. And you did. And you I did. did. Wow. I married Gamash. Well, we love I, love. We really do. <laughs> Readers are like that as I well. I need to start writing and come up with a <laughs> Okay. Well, this is a, I, I, I feel love badly it. when people come to visit where I live and they realize I have, I have no creativity. I just write what I see every day. Yeah. And I, my books are love letters to where I live, which is Quebec, to the yeah. people who are in my life. And Gamache is inspired by, by my husband. So it's, it's extra special to see him brought alive, and yeah. particularly by an actor as astonishing as Alfred Molina. I mean, it's yes. just breathtaking. Well, can't wait to see your next book about a morning show featuring someone named <laughs> Gail. <laughs> or, but who's named the Gail? victim? Yeah. Who's the victim and who's the... Who's I don't want to be the victim. No. The Gail's, the lo <laughs> Gail's the love interest. Yes. Oh, yes. Gail's the love interest. Yes, yes, love. yes. Okay. Could I be a love interest? Yeah. Just yeah. make me dashing, Make her hot, please. yes. No glasses. <laughs> yes. Right. Louise Penny, thank you very much. Like a it. world of curiosity goes on sale tomorrow.